going on guys repairs and reviews here today I'm going to be showing you one of my least favorite things to do installing a tube in a tire I've already done one and it whipped my ass so um, if you're not willing to get your hands dirty if you don't have a little bit of muscle and uh, some patience you might want to take this somewhere, but I'm going to show you how I do it uh, step by step. First off, I'm going to show you the tools that I use. Uh, blow gun, it helps, uh, especially to you know fill the tire. Um, but I'll show you what I use the blow gun for. Um, obviously, a gauge to set the tire pressure when you're done. You're going to want a good set of ice grips, preferably medium to large size. I'm going to want some needle nose vice grips, a file of some sort, a razor blade. Uh, this is optional. Uh, I have a uh, tool for this, and this actually screws on to the uh, valve stem to help pull it through. But um, you can, if you don't have this tool, you can just clamp the valve stem, stem with a uh, these needle nose vice grips just to hold it in place. Um, I can't find my other big screwdriver. Uh, preferably you want two good sized flat blade screwdrivers. Um, so I'm using a pry bar. This is a little difficult to work with. If you have two good sized flat blade screwdrivers uh, that will work better for you because they are thinner uh, and they will get up in there and uh, get things done a little bit better than working with this but I'm gonna show you how to do this uh, this is gonna be real time I'm gonna cut and edit um, just in between steps but um, get ready for a ride this you might hear a lot of cussing uh, but I'm gonna show you my technique and also you're gonna want some sort of lubricant whether it be soapy water uh, PB blaster uh, I just have this laying around. I got a lot of it, so um, I'll be using that. But, uh, and of course, you're going to need the tube. Get the tube that uh, goes along with the size of your tire. Like this is a 20 by 10 by 8, which is this size tire. So, uh, I'm going to show you how I break the bead, and this is probably the uh, most difficult part. All right, hopefully the fan isn't making too much noise in the background. It's very hot out. I have my AC unit and the window going, and of course the fan, and I'm still sweating my ass off. So, first thing you're going to want to do, uh, this tire is pretty flat, but you're going to take your razor blade and just cut this valve stem out of here. Just like that. And that will uh, pretty much drain the tire and everything. If it's full of air, you might be in for a surprise when you go to break that or cut it off. But um, there are machines for this. Um, we used to have one at my old work, small engine repair shop, uh, but I do not have one. So, I weigh well over 250 pounds. Um, so, I do it by stepping on it. I'm getting a hold of this table here just to brace myself. I'm going to spray this down right in that area. I'm going to use the heel of my feet as close to the rim as possible. I'm just going to play with it back and forth, back and forth. Jump up and down. You might be laughing, but it works. Eventually. Like that. It's not a fun thing to do, but if you're in a pinch and the average person at home is not going to have the uh, tire machine to do this, whether it be automatic or manual tire machine, you're obviously probably not going to have that. So, just got to use what you got. Again, I'm bracing myself on this table, just rocking it back and forth. Got the heel of my foot back and forth. Jab it a little bit closer. Just like that. 
Next step will be uh, popping the tire off of one side of the rim. Just one. You don't have to fully remove this tire. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And you want to pop the tire off of the side of the rim with the valve stem. So make sure when you pry this tire off of here, it comes up off of the side with the valve stem. So I guess I can just do this here. One thing to help you out, put your foot or knee here to uh, get this lip below the deep part of the rim. And that will help tremendously in pulling this tire over here. Like I said, two flat blade screwdrivers work better. But for some reason I can't find mine, so I gotta use this pry bar. You just wanna slip in. Just wanna do little by little. You don't wanna come over here because you're not gonna get it. Little by little, just work the tire off the rim. And in this situation, I'm just gonna use the pry bar to keep what I have off off. Since it's not very thin, it doesn't like to go over this rim. takes uh, pretty much years of practice. I've done a lot of tires. Like I said, it's one of my least favorite things to do. It'll whip your ass. But I'm doing it anyway. Might as well turn the camera on. Just work this around until you get it. the tire lifting off the valve stem side of the rim. Just like this. From here, take the uh, old valve stem, throw it in the trash. Get you a light. Hopefully you can see this. Check the inside of this tire. Roll it around. Make sure there's no uh, any nails in the tire, any old um, plugs or anything. If somebody has slimed this tire with that green slime, God help you. But, it is what it is. They'll eventually have to have sore, uh, some poor soul put a tube in the tire anyway because that green slime stuff is junk. Do not recommend sliming your tire. But, if it has been slimed at this point, you're going to want to get in there and clean it out as best you can. Good luck. Luckily, this guy uh, did not do this to me. But just roll it around. I'm going to finish rolling this around and, and check uh, to see if there's anything. You know, carefully roll your hand around the inside of this tire, around the around the wall of the tire, both sides, and around the actual tire. Make sure there's nothing uh, sticking through that's going to pop your tube. Um, also, inspect the rim. These rims are not made to perfection. These rims are just cut and welded and shipped down an assembly line. So, this is where the file comes in. Feel around the rim, especially here where it's welded together. Feel around it. You're probably not going to see it on the camera. But right there is a burr from where it was welded some slag. You just take your file, just get that smooth, knock that burr off. Continue. Right here is where they started and stopped welding. That's, that's where they started and then ended up and stopped. So there's a lot of slag through here. Just get your file, knock any of those off. tube that you work so hard to get into this tire so and it has happened if you do not do this you could risk popping the brand new tube of course they're not going to warranty a tube that you popped so it could be out of time
time and money if you're not careful. Just follow it around. There's some right here. And check the edges too. Just make sure nothing is falling off. Like right here, there's some right here on this edge. Anywhere that the tube could potentially touch, put a hole in it or rip it. Just knock all that off. finish this up, make sure the rim and the tire are both clean and ready to go and I will turn it back on uh, when I'm ready to install the tube. Alright, the tire is clean, the inside of the tire is clean, I've knocked all the uh, burrs and the slag off the rim, anything sharp that's going to potentially puncture this tube um, and I'm ready to install. So, from here, a couple different options. Um, one thing you're going to have to do, or it, it would uh, benefit you to do it this way, and do it on the valve stem um, hole here. You're going to want to clamp some vice grips on that hole, but first, let's install the tube. The tube is going to come just like this. You're going to want to install this tube just like this, with this stem facing up where that hole is. You don't want to put it down because you're not going to get it through the hole. So, very carefully lift the tire up and start fishing the tube around the rim. Tube is inside the rim. Um, try and turn this. There's the valve stem hole. Reach in here. Get the uh, valve stem of the tube and just push it through. And hold. At this point, if you had one of these tools, Great. If you don't, you can uh, clip this lightly with a pair of needle nose vice grips. But these kind of get in the way, but I've used them before, before I got these. I mean, it's not that big a deal. Pull it through. Screw your uh, valve stem tool on. And this is to prevent the uh, valve stem from falling back through the rim when you're working. Just like that. So it's if it falls back through, you can pull it back. At this point, I'm going to push this. Try and center this back on the camera here. Push this uh, portion of the tire down and clamp with a vice grip right here, nice and snug. Just like that. And uh, the reason I clamp that there. So when I'm working this tire around like I'm about to do, it's not going to risk slipping back up over the rim because the vice grip is here. So, I've always done these dry. Um, I've never sprayed them because it just makes a mess and it makes things slippery and it kind of makes uh, more work for yourself. So, um, the spray is for disassembling and reassembling but not at this point. So what you're gonna want to do, like I said, put your knee, foot, something to help this rim, help this part of the tire pass the deep part of the rim like that. Then slowly 
work the tire. Work the um, tire back on the rim. Don't shove this screwdriver way down in here because there's a tube in here. Remember, just barely get it over the lip just like this, just barely, maybe a half inch over the lip so that it moves the tire without risking of puncturing the uh, tube. I'm just going to hold what I've done with the pry bar here. Continuing to work it. Hold it in place. If I had two screwdrivers, I could do one and then come over and do another and come over and do another and alternate them, but since I only have a pry bar, this is the way that I found it's the uh, most efficient. Once you get to about this point, you can start to be greedy and go over here to the, uh, to the remainder of the tire, and it should pop right through. If not, just continue on little by little, but once it gets to a point, you can just do it just like that. Now, from here, you want to take the uh, vice grips off. Make sure the uh, rim and everything still seated. You don't, I mean, it's a tube, so you don't have to polish the lip of the rim to make sure it's a good seat because the tube is what's actually filled with air. It's not, and it's no longer the tire. Uh, word of caution, because I've done it, if you're doing this in gravel, um, which I do not recommend, if you're doing it in gravel, if you're doing it in the yard, while you're fighting the tire on the other side, you can wedge gravel in between the rim and the tire and uh, chunks of grass and stuff and that's not good for it so just be cautious of that just telling you my experience with them so from this point I'm going to want to clamp this lightly just like that to remove the uh, stem tool I like to give, fill my uh, tire with a, my tube with a little bit of air just to help it expand and settle within the tire. Like that, just kind of hopefully get it in place. Then, kind of hopefully everything settles up in here. What you want to do, take whatever lubricant you want coat it really good. This will help the tire reseat itself on the rim. Now don't trust these vice grips alone because they could slip off and then if that's just, if the valve stem gets sucked up in the tire you're back to square one. So put a little bit of pressure on this. Fin finish filling it and it will eventually come and pop the uh, seat. seat up there on both sides. It's fully seated. If you're seeing air bubbles along the rim, that's no big deal. That's air trying to escape from around between the uh, tire and the tube. Typically, that air will escape from around the valve stem, which it is doing now. And once that is finished, we'll finish filling the tire. Set it to whatever you want. 10 to 12 is uh, normally um, the standard for this style or this size tire um, on the rear of a riding mower. You don't want to put too much air in it. You don't want to risk damaging the tube. And you don't want to uh, put too much air in it to where it becomes hard as a rock. 
it's going to beat you to death when you're driving through your yard. Uh, since lawnmowers don't have suspension, they kind of use the tire to absorb the impact as you're riding through rough terrain. So that's basically it. Set it to what you want. Um, you might want to let it sit. Set it to exactly what you want, which I might set it for a little more than this, but it's about 10. Set it for 10, set it for 12, set it for 15 even, um, and let it sit to make sure that it's not leaking. Um, you come back 15 minutes, 20 minutes, go have some lunch or something, come back before you reinstall these onto the mower to make sure that they are seated and they are not leaking. So I'm going to go back and check the one that I've already done since it's been about 20 minutes. Um, I set that one to 15. So uh, that pretty much sums it up. Like I said, this, this is not a uh, fun process. Um, so if you're not willing to get your hands dirty and uh, put in some work, just go have a tube put in or, or go have someone replace the tire. But if you are kind of, uh, you know, a do-it-yourselfer, this could be your guide. And this is just my tips and tricks from my experience and that what's, what works best with me. So this has been Repairs and Reviews. Thanks for watching.